Monday, June 28th already. Wow. Coming up next this Sunday be 4th of July. Hard to believe. Some people go, I know it's a very popular week for people to go on vacation during this week of January. It's an excellent time. Right. The 4th of July, it's a fine choice. If you are on vacation, have a wonderful time. Anyway, reading from the Gospel of Matthew. A scribe approached him and said to him, Teach, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. Another disciple said to him, Lord, let me go bury my father. But Jesus answered him, Follow me, and let the dead bury the dead. Whew. Let the dead bury the dead. First things first. Anyway, this fellow entered the New York City Marathon. The race started, and immediately he said, I was in, he said, I was in the last, last of the runners. It is quite embarrassing to come in last place. Anyway, the guy who was in front of me, second to last, was making fun of me. He turned and said, hey, buddy, how does it feel to be last? I replied, you really want to know? And then I dropped out of the race. <laughs> Sorry. I got a kick of that one. I'd teach him. Hmm? And when Jesus says we can't drop out of the race, no excuses to follow Jesus. Never mind, you know, the birds here have nests and the foxes have dens. No, no, no. I give it all. And, and we said, bury, you know, let, my, let me bury my father first. It wasn't that his father died or was near death, okay? It wasn't like, oh my gosh, how you know, insensitive can Jesus be? His father today can't even bury him. No, his father was alive, probably in good health. He said, wait till my father dies. And then he said, no, no, we don't, we don't have time for that. It's now. You can't drop out. You've got to run, get in the race. So make, let's make no excuses. No excuses. We have to follow Jesus right now. Not later, but right now. God bless you.